Hi, I'm Neil Curtis, and this is the final part of a six part series of video snippets that have been taken from a longer WordPress tutorial showing you how to make a website from the very start to the very finish. Here, I'm just going to quickly show you how to change the text that's in the footer of the website and also how to add a fav icon or a fav icon to the page. Save that, head on over and refresh. There you go. Compare it to the live site, it's identical. So it's just about finished, but there's one last thing. I remember at the bottom here, there's a default WordPress stroke Genesis stuff. And on the live site, it just says copyright, newcurtis.me. And to edit this, we're going to install a plugin called Genesis Simple Edits. And this is another great thing about Genesis is it has all these plugins that work with it and can do some pretty cool stuff. So we'll install that Genesis Simple Edits and activate it. Once activated, if you go into the Genesis tab on the left, there's a Simple Edits area. And this is what's in there at the moment. So we just delete that, keep the copyright, but then we'll type in neilcurtis.me after it. And I've deleted the dot, so I'll just Copy it from there. Okay, then save that. Look at the site, and at the bottom, we now have copyright 2013, your kids.me, exactly the same as the live site. If you look up the top here in the live site, you see there's a, a pinky N, but it's just got the default Genesis icon in there. We can easily change that. So if we navigate to our child theme and our Genesis theme. Let's open up that theme and there's images and there's a fav icon or fav icon in there. This is what this is. So we just delete that and I've created one for, so let's copy that and paste it into the images folder. And I'll go through to the Genesis as well in the images folder and delete the fav icon in there. Then paste my new one in there too. Then if I refresh the page, it probably won't show up. No, it hasn't. So I'll just try it again. But it is there. You've got to trust me. And a good way to get it to show most cases is to go into your settings and empty the cache on the internet. And if I go through now and refresh it, you'll see the N there. There you have it. Just quickly show you how to change the footer credit text and also to add a fab icon to the site. This does rely on having Genesis themes, by the way, but this is what this whole tutorial was based on. And you should watch the full video of how to create this whole landing page from start to finish. And also head over to the website, neilcurtis.me, to find out lots more information about creating websites, creating web graphics, and even how to earn some money off websites.